Hi, I'm Kim Favor. I'm the Student Assistance Counselor here at the high school and I'm joined with Nancy Mainville and she is our SAD president um, and she's been in this role for several years. SAD stands for Students Against Destructive Decisions. And we are really trying to raise awareness around uh, the vaping epidemic that's affecting our district and districts around the country. I think we're up to 3.6 million young people that are admitting to vaping. Uh, we have a couple different products that we want to make you aware of and Nancy is also going to talk about why they're so appealing to young people. Um, our typical vapes that we see that we're confiscating that our teens are using would be the Jewel. Jewel or Miley. You can see they fit really in the palm of your hand. Why are they so appealing, Nance? Um, they're pretty appealing to kids because they're easy to hide. You can put them anywhere. Um, and you can charge them in your laptop. Yeah, Very you can charge easy. anywhere. You can, there are these little, like, um, cartridges that you fill with nicotine, so they're very easy, easy to get, easy to hide, especially from the parents. So some of the vaping products you actually would load your own e-juice into them. Uh, the Soren Air is a really popular product and it's very thin. You can actually just fit it right in your pocket, so a little thicker than a credit card. Um, but then again, like Nancy was saying, the Miley and the Jewel are closed systems. So that means, right, you're buying your pods separately and they come in a box of four. Um, kids are easily getting them online on Amazon. They're buying them from each other. Um, they're selling their old Miley's and Jewels to get something more of an upgrade. Uh, we know that Smoke is a really popular brand and this Novo vape has also um, been pretty popular. And you can see it's got a really kind of sleek design so sometimes that's appealing to uh, young people as well and that has its own pods. Um, and you should be aware that every Jewel and Miley has nicotine in those pods. Most of them do. It's very rare that you're going to buy an e-juice that is just e-juice. If you actually test those products, a lot of times they're going to come back with pretty staggering levels of nicotine. Um, so when your kids are saying, no, it's just e-juice, it's not harmful, you really want to be aware and be educated around the fact that most of the times it does have nicotine in it, which we know is highly addictive for young people. And again, you might just find something like a cap at home um, that's, a, you know, to a jewel pod. You might find a little charger. Kids, um, kids like these because they look like flash drives, so they think, oh, my parents are old, they're not going to know what this is. But be aware, this is not just a flash drive. So you can see that, you know, in a jewel package, there's different flavors. Mint tends to be very popular um, with our AP students, as well as mango. Uh, the mango and the creme brulee and the fruit medley are all jewel flavored products and some of them actually have more nicotine than others. What you should know is that one jewel pod is equivalent to a pack of cigarettes, but what we're now realizing is that it's actually equivalent to more than a pack of cigarettes. So students on average who are using pretty regularly, if they're vaping regularly, they're going through a pod and a half about every other day. So they're going through several packs of cigarettes in a week. And we're now seeing that the more that they're vaping, they're actually going to conventional cigarettes and smoking both simultaneously. And over here, you'll also see e-juice that has nicotine in it, and this would be loaded into some of the other vaping devices. And again, there's not much labeling, and there's no regulation from the FDA, so they can basically get away with putting whatever they want on the label.